Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I really wanted to get this video out for you today because Hubby has had his results from the B1 test that he took in Manchester. And result are you Nikita? Today I got my result. I fail. Yeah, so it was a fail, unfortunately, which is a bit sad because we were really hoping that he would pass it and then it would just carry us on through to the um, indefinite leave application and it would just save us some time and money. Um, but because he's failed, we do need to sit another test. It was, like I said, a quite a difficult test, what I thought anyway. And Tumar, can you idea as the names and gene to me fail for so? Wrong answer, one listening, wrong answer. I think so, that's why. Patna yeah. is very bad, he's not speaking fluently. I think he what he was saying was his partner um, would always try and pass the question on to him. So he would answer like... I don't know, maybe just say a couple of words and then ask him a question. Nani? Yeah, yeah, every time he he will start. He will start. <laughs> every yeah. time he will start. Yeah, so he had a partner that wasn't um, to the same level of English that he is, so maybe that did hinder him a little bit um, and he got a question wrong to my first uh, listening question. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, which he did go back and speak to the examiner about, um, and she, she said it was okay. But of course, when they went to mark it, maybe it's somebody else that marks it. Um, they obviously picked up on that that was a wrong answer. Yeah, when I listening second time, then I realized my first question is wrong, and finish my exam. I told you examiner, the uh, I listening my listening answer is wrong. My examiner is, is okay, no problem. Don't worry. Yeah, but there was something to worry about yeah. because, yeah, we didn't get the result that we wanted, uh, which means that we do have to book again. I was thinking that maybe we should we should take the A2 this time just to make sure that we pass because we're running out of time um, and then we can take the B1 in a couple of years' time. But his friend has told him that the B1 at Trinity College is quite different. I don't know. I'll go have a book yeah, 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 B1 book again, I think, is Trinity College. Everyone says Trinity College is very easy. Yeah, and from... Uh, British Council is easy, not hard, is okay. But Trinity College, too easy. Yeah, so at Trinity College, we have heard that it's just a speaking, um, sort of, you have a few topics with you that you take. But yeah, so what I'm going to do is book the one at Trinity College so I'll put up a walkthrough video on how I do that. Um, and we're going to Trinity Leeds. There's actually uh, one in Manchester, I think, which I didn't know about. So, yeah, that's a bit unfortunate because I could have booked straight onto that. The reason I booked at British Council was because it was in Manchester. Um, and yeah, I prefer it as a city. Uh, so I thought while he's in the test centre, I could just shop around. I know where I'm going. I'm more familiar with it. Um, but we've gone with Leeds anyway just because it's motorway driving and I think the driving will be a bit easier. Uh, I just couldn't face another drive to Manchester. Um, though the city is really nice, the drive isn't so nice. I mean, it's very picturesque but um, I'm much more comfortable driving on the motorway. Anyways guys, so that's the result for Hubby's V1 test. Please uh, keep an eye out on the next test that we go on. I'll be vlogging that again um, and also I'll let you know of the results for that too. Thank you for watching, take care and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.